good morning everyone the second unit in communication skills and soft skills contains the title word stress coming to the explanation stress or accent is an important feature of english and clarity in the language depends to a large extent on the speaker's ability to use the english stress system stress is a means of making a syllable or a word appear more prominent than the others to which it is linked in a speech what is meant by syllable a syllable may uttered in a single breath normally a syllable has a vowel if a syllable consists one vowel sound it is called monosyllabic word if it contains two vowel sounds it is called bisyllabic word three is called trisyllabic tetrasyllabic four vowels a uh, five or more than five vowel syllable is called polysyllabic word or pentasyllabic word okay the three markers of stress in english are loudness means the pitch of your voice may vary sometimes uh, uh, it took high pitch okay the second one is length of the vowel in a syllable length of the vowel means short vowel or long vowel e e it indicates the length of the vowel and the third rule is pitch change p i t c h pitch of your voice may change according to the context like high pitch low pitch and level pitch okay stress is a meaningful feature at the levels of both words and sentences look at the following words the first one is important and the second one is important they are two different words with different meanings an important person is a person with a lot of power whereas an impotent person is a powerless helpless person or good for nothing person in writing they are spelled differently although they sound alike there is one difference have you noticed the difference the words are said like this important and impotent both words have three syllables the second syllable in important is said with more force than the other two syllables in the case of important the first syllable is said with more force than the other two syllables these syllables which are pronounced with more force than the other syllables are called stressed syllables <laughs> a mark of vertical bar is placed before the stressed syllable to indicate stress the words that are stressed are nouns names of the persons places things like that uh, verbs verb means action adjectives adjectives means which qualifies the nouns adverbs to add something to the verb is called an adverb negatives negative words are just like uh, don't can't won't like that question words all wh questions what when why and two part verbs switch off turn off these two are called two part verbs 
they are the important words in the sentences they give us most of the information the words that are not stressed are pronounced i we you he she it all these are pronouns prepositions in on for like that conjunction conjunction means it is a connective word it connects one word to another word or one sentence to another sentence the conjunctions are un that but next is articles a and d these three are called articles b verbs they are is am are and last one is auxiliary verbs has have had these three are called auxiliary verbs they are purely grammatical words they are not stressed when we speak a sentence the words which carry information are stressed while the purely grammatical words are not stressed there are the rules for marking stress here are some rules which will help you articulate words correctly the first rule is words with weak prefixes are accented on the roof prefix means a letter or group of letters added to the beginning of a word to make a new word for example principal if you add wise to the pr- principal it is called wise principal the wise is called prefix arise compose below reduce the second rule is the inflectional suffixes like ed es and ing do not affect the accent inflectional means the way in which the sound of your voice change during speech okay recommend recommended compose composes happen happening do you notice the change okay the third rule is the derivational suffixes like age ains en ess full hood eyes ish i less ly ment ness or ship t e r u r e and z n z e n do not normally affect the accent suffix means a letter or group of letters added to the end of a word for example <coughs> sweet for this word if you add n e s s after sweet sweetness lo n e s s is called suffix look at the examples carry carriage appear appearance bright brighten begin beginner tiger tigress beauty beautiful brother brotherhood covered covered is covered means opposite word to brave or that is the antonym fever feverish attend attentive manner manalis certain certainly manage management useless uselessness collect collector scholar scholarship laugh laughter city citizen the fourth rule is words ending in i o n take the primary accent on the penultimate syllable penultimate means 
second from end or last but one application preparation station nation like that the fifth rule is words ending in ic ical ICA LLY IOUS IAL and IA LLY take the primary accent in the syllable preceding the suffix apologetic biological notorious commercial dramatically the next one is words ending in i t y take the accent on the anti penultimate syllable anti penultimate means third syllable from the end the last syllable is called ultimate last but one is called penultimate and uh, third from the last is called anti penultimate syllables generosity electricity okay now coming to the questions write a note on word stress for this question write all the rules of stress patterns with examples i already gave so many examples in the video okay ma uh, there is an uh, internal choice for this question also that is you have to mark stress for the given words stress mark is you have to place a vertical bar before the stressed letter decoration terrific psychological specific economic object perform impossible related conclude five are reference i wrote the answers right side is the answer which you have to write uh, practice the words but bear in mind that all these are just rough guidelines to determine stress patterns almost all of these rules have exceptions the only way to pick up the right stress pattern is to listen to how these words are spoken whenever you come across a new word refer dictionary and find out not only its correct and exact meaning and usage but also its stress pattern at the same time you can also use resources on the internet to listen to the pronunciation of the word dear girls I uploaded three videos for your communication skills and soft skills paper two the first unit it was divided into two parts the first one is the organs of speech and the next video is about uh, the consonants vowel sounds and diphthongs the second unit it consists the stress patterns and the various rules for stress okay go through these three videos listen carefully and write down the notes okay ma thank you